Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own delivery or logistics website, okay? So basically this will come with the front page, you know, the company page that talks about the company and the services the company is into. You get, so it comes with the about us page, services page, news page, and the contact page. You get, so let's go to the about page. Now this talks about the overview of the company, how long the company has been in business and all that. So if you go to the contact page, you see um, email address. You can put your email address in here, your phone number, your office address, a form for people to fill, and it gets sent to you. Yeah, so these are different branches and all that. You get, so this is a very beautifully designed front page for a delivery website. Now I'm going to take you straight to the admin dashboard, okay? So this admin dashboard is where the admin of the logistics website gets to um, maybe create a tracking ID for a parcel, update this tracking ID, and send out tracking IDs, okay? So I'm just going to um, get one that's already been has already been created, and let's track and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the track page, and all I have to do is click on track. Okay, wonderful. So this is tracking ID that I just um, I just try to track now. So this is sender's details, this is receiver's details, and these details about the parcel. Okay, this dispatch location, career save and status, active. So you can choose if it's going to be active, if it has arrived, if it is on its way, or whatever. This is dispatch date, the estimated delivery date, and current location. And current location says London Port. So I'm just going to pick a track ID and we're going to track it and see what the track page looks like. Okay, so I'm going to click on track. Okay. And yes. Now you see this as uh, this is a tracking ID. I just tried to track now. This is sender's details, the name, contact info, email address. This is receiver's details. So all these things you can set from the admin um, admin dashboard. Okay, so these details about the parcel. Okay, what's the um, parcel description? The location of the parcel. Is it active? Is it has it arrived? Is it pending? Is it held? You get. So this is dispatch dates, estimated dates, current location. So you can keep changing the current location from the admin dashboard. Okay. Now the beautiful thing about this particular um, Korea website is the fact that you don't just get to change the um, current location, but you also have a map, okay, that works with that current location. So whatever the location you put in, the map automatically redirects to that place. So you see my current location here is 441 4th Street, NW, Washington, D.C. Okay, so Google says that is one judiciary square. You see this is the same um, address. If you come down here, you see this red mark is right at that particular spot where I say the parcel is. You get so this is why this um this particular web app is so 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 powerful. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can get started, how you can view this, and how you can get this for yourself also. Okay. So basically, you should have a domain and your hosting already. If you do not have that, all you have to do is just go online. You can go to Bluehost, Namecheap, wherever, and just get your own um, and get your own domain name and hosting. So once you've gotten that, you've gotten your cPanel already. All you have to do is, if you are using, if that's going to be your primary domain name, all you have to do is just go to your file manager and you get access to it. But I'm going to be using the subdomain. Okay, you could be using an add-on domain or it could be your primary domain, but I'll be using the subdomain. So I'm going to create a subdomain for this purpose. I'm going to call it um. Let's say Trustland. Okay, and I click on create.
Okay, so it has successfully created. So I'm going to assess it now. So I'm going to go to my file manager and assess it. Like I said earlier, if the domain name you are using is a primary domain or if it's an add-on domain, if you go to your file manager, you will see it pop up here, right? So mine is a subdomain and this is it's right here, Transland. So I'm going to upload my file. That's the very first step. So don't worry, this um, software is going to be made available for you at the end of the training. I'll give you further instructions on how to get it. So this is it right here. So I'm going to just wait for it to upload. It will take a while because of networks and the size of the file. So you just have to be patient. Okay, so make sure you wait for the um, this bar to turn green. Don't, well, it's, even if it's showing 100% and it's not green yet, it's still blue. Do not click anything, just wait. Make sure it's showing green first. Once you see it's showing green, then you click on this. Okay, it takes you back to this page. Okay, so now all you have to do is extract. Okay. Now you see these are the files, but you see it's inside a folder. It's inside a folder. Now we don't want it inside a folder. We want it on the main subdomain page. You get. So we're going to go into that folder. We're going to select all, and we're going to move it out. Okay, into the main subdomain page. And yes. It's Okay, so if I take this now, you see I have my very own page. Okay, so this is the front end and everything. Now it's not complete yet. We need to customize the back end also so we can have access to it. Okay. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to create a database, okay? So all you have to do is search for wizard, you see, MySQL database wizard. Okay, we're going to create um, a database for it now. So let's say my database name is trans. Okay, I'm going to use the same as the user. Then I'm going to add a password. So make sure the password is um, strong, like they say. Okay, copy this password because you're going to use it elsewhere. Okay, then create user. Now I'm going to add the user to the database. Okay, so click on all privileges, click on make changes. Okay, that being said and done, I'm going to go back to the file manager now so we can um, edit the um, configure the database, the admin parts, okay? So I'm going to go to db.php. Okay, click on edit. Now you see these are the old details. Now we're going to change this to suit us. Now you see that password that you created for the database, you are going to paste it right here. Make sure you follow the, um, the instructions. See this db password. So you know that's where you're putting password right there. Then you see username. Now you go back. Let's see the username that we created. Okay. Yes, this is the username that I created. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use it right here. You see? Username, DB username. I'm going to do the same for the DB name. Remember, I used the same name for the name and the user. I did not change it. So. Make sure you are putting it exactly where you should. Do not try to edit the code. Perfect. So all said and done, we're going to click on save changes. And that is it. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do now is... The last thing we're going to do now is upload our SQL database, okay? So to do that, we're going to PHP my admin. So 
So your SQL database, if you go to your files, it's right here on that SQL. Okay, so you will find your um, MySQL database in this folder called SQL. So you click and this is it. Okay, so all you have to do is download it into your system. Okay, you have to download it into your system. Now we're going to upload it into our database that we just created. Now the database we just created is this trans, yeah? So you click on import. So you click on imports and you click on choose file. So this takes you to your system and you choose the particular file. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so just wait for it to upload. Okay, successful. Okay, so when you click on it again, you see the database tables. Okay, so you have the admin and you have the tracking. This is track all the track IDs that you have. And then this is the admin. Okay, so we're going to get the admin password and username so we can log in. Okay, so first I'm going to come here. I'm going to copy this and open it on a new tab. Okay, so let's get the um, the admin username and password. Okay, so the username here is admin. So I'm just going to come here and paste this admin. The password is one two three two six. So one two three four five six. Okay, so this is the admin dashboard. Okay, so here you see. So here you see the different um, track IDs that you have created for different parcels and all that. Okay, so this says active, you see, so it says picked up. These are the different dates that you put and all that. Okay, so we, you can delete, you can edit. Okay, so let's delete this first one. Delete successful. Okay. You see, delete successful. Okay, so let's track this one now and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click on track on the main page. So all you have to do is this is the track ID. So when you take the track ID from this dashboard, you go to your own page and you click on track. It takes you here. So you place your track ID and you track. Okay, so let's create a new um, a new track id so i'm going to click on add tracking okay so let's go so sender's name will be david let's say david green sender's contact okay. i'm going to put phone number there sender's email okay let's say okay address sender's address um let's say um Okay, so let's say receiver's name is contact. So email, okay. Receiver's address could be, anyway, just put the address of your choice, okay? Now, this other info, this is for the um, package itself, okay? The parcel you are transporting, you are transporting. So, let's say you have active, that is actively moving on its way. Inactive means it has stopped. It gets, you have picked up, you have arrived, you have delivered, you have on hold. So, whichever one you want to use to describe the status of your package per time, you can just come and pick it. So, I'm going to click on, on hold. Okay, 
So this patch location, let's say, um, okay, and package if you let's say. Big box of clothes. Dispatch dates. Okay, let's just. Put, um, you see, dates is months, dates, year. Okay, so put that into consideration. So let's say 24th of 2022. Okay, estimated delivery dates. Okay, you can say. Um, Okay, and click on add. Voila, this is it right here. Okay, so you're going to click on this. So let's copy this and let's track it now to see how it appears. So I go back to my main page, I click on track, and this is it. You see? So this is the track ID I just um, tracked. This is the sender's name. This is the details, this is the receiver's details, now this is details of the parcel, so a big box of clothes, dispatch location, you see on old, dispatch date, estimated delivery date. Now you see the current location is Amsterdam, okay? So it takes me straight to Amsterdam, Amsterdam, there's no specific location, so it just shows me like a full map, okay? So we're going to look for, let's say a location, let's say an address. Okay, I just want to pick any address. Mm. Okay, so let's use this. Going to use this address now so we're going to go back to our admin we're going to click on update okay you click on update and you go to the current location and you paste the address you want to update with and you click okay successful it's been updated now let's go back to let's check it out Okay, so I'm going to track the I'm going to track the number again. I'm going to place this here. Voila. You see, it has changed. Now it's now more specific. You see, so it points directly to the address, the current location that you put. So this is not just like any other um, logistic or delivery website that you have seen. This is specially made to function perfectly. Okay, so um, if you're interested in getting this software, all you have to do is follow the descriptions in the description box of this um, video and you would get it. Thank you very much and have a very nice day.